In this video, we're going to cover the Mesh Mixer UI. We're going to start with the workspace, the Mesh Mixer menus, the tools, and our viewport. But first, we will start with the splash screen right here. The splash screen is a quick shortcut to importing, opening Mesh Mixer files, the keyboard shortcut, and quick access to the Sanford Bunny, a sphere, and a plane. We're going to click on the Stanford Bunny to bring up the extra menus that Mesh Mixer has. If you want to know more about the Stanford Bunny, do a Google search and look at the Wikipedia page for it. It's a very interesting story. As soon as I click Import Bunny, notice that now we have these additional menus up here. And we also have the View Cube on the top right. Let's quickly go over the menus. Under File, we have Open, Save, Save As, and Recent Files, very typical of a 3D package. And then we have the Import, which is the same thing as the Import Tool on the toolbar, Import Bunny, which is what we just did, Import a Sphere, Import a Plane. We can then Import Parts folder. We can import a reference. And this is where we'll also export. At the very bottom, we can start a screencast where we can record a movie of our operations in Mesh Mixer. The next menu is the Actions menu. So you have Undo, Back, Redo, Forward. You can undo by skipping tools, redo skipping tools, and then you can discard the entire undo history. This is where we also copy our units, which we will have a video fully dedicated to units, where we can set a target and clear the target. Then we have the View menu, where we have our Recent View, Recenter at cursor, previous view, next view, toggle visibility, show objects browser, and show all. We're going to have a video on the entire view menu. Below that, we have show wireframe, show boundaries, show grid, show printer bed, orthographic view, and our transparent target. The help menu is where we find our search, our 3D printing with Mesh Mixer, our keyboard shortcuts, meshmixer.com, online help, the forum, Mesh Mixer at YouTube, at Mesh Mixer on Twitter, and show the application log. Lastly, we have the feedback menu where you can report a bug. We're now going to cover navigating in Mesh Mixer. We're going to go to the Mesh Mixer main menu, and under Preferences, General, Navigation Mode, we're going to select Mesh Mixer. That is because the Mesh Mixer shortcuts are the same as Autodesk Maya. If you're more used to working with Fusion 360, you can select it right here. But we're going to stick with Mesh Mixer. I'm going to click on Done. And as you can see, if I use my Alt left mouse button, I can tumble the camera around the bunny. I'm going to click on the View Cubes Home. Now I'm going to hold Alt, middle mouse button to pan. Again, click on the view cube home. And lastly, I'm going to hold Alt, right mouse button to zoom out and to zoom in. Let's click on the home button for the view cube. So speaking of the view cube, let's go over how the view cube works. The home button will set the camera back to its default position. I'm going to turn on the grid real quickly by going to View, Show Grid. If I click on the front of our camera, we're going to get a orthographic view with perspective. And now I can use these arrows right here to navigate around the different orthographic views of our camera. Notice that this is not a true orthographic. These views right here have some sort of a perspective. And again, you can also go to the bottom. And if you keep clicking, you can go to the top. I'm going to click on Home again. Also notice that we can go to our corners. So this will be our front right. If I go to the far corner, this will be our right back. If I click on this corner, this will be the back top, back bottom, bottom left, and so on. I'm going to click on the home button. For a true orthographic view, we're going to click on this down arrow and we can switch from perspective to orthographic view. And now when we click on our front, right, back, left, bottom, 
or top, we're going to get true orthographic views.